coming up on this episode. That was garbage. And the last time I'll ever go in there again. Welcome to another video. I am in sunny, grey, cold, rainy, all types of weather, Krakow, Poland. So you've seen the title. I'm about to take on as many cafes as humanly possible. I'm not sure how this is going to go down, but what I do know is you're going to get an amazing review. Let's do this. So first up is the coffee garden. Now this place was the closest to my Airbnb apartment. It's a locally run coffee shop. It's not terribly big, it's quite small and it's called the coffee garden. And this is in the Katsumira's uh, district. The coffee here is good, it tastes good. Uh, they use um, normal ceramic uh, cups, they've got different sizes. Um, the problem that I found here was the, the coffee was always pretty much cold. Um, closer from, uh, I would say it was warm, but closer to cold than it would be to hot. So if you do like hot coffee like I do, I really do, you have to kind of make it known uh, to the shop owner to kind of make it hot. And when you do get to go inside, you have a very cool homely kind of interior, lots of plants, and things like that. So this is a very chilled kind of cafe um, and pretty good for solo travelers if they want to get their work done. The internet was okay, so-so, but I have had a cold brew from this place. It's very, very good. So try the cold brew. Expensive, but overall, out of five, I give this one a 3.8. Okay, for purposes of this video, I'm gonna save the worst, the worst, which could be controversial till last. So stay tuned. It has some serious sick interior with this kind of book store um, design. Very comfortable, a very large cafe area. Again, I went with a traditional uh, flat white, which was a uh, great taste. It was hot, which is exactly how I like it. But also, if you look at the board, they have many different types of coffee. So that's a really uh, good thing. So if you want to experiment, go for this type of cafe in this area. But overall, if you want somewhere to relax, be more social, this is the cafe for you. But the biggest highlight is they have board games here. Uh, I've only seen a couple of these kind of places in East London back home, but they have board games. So if you want to challenge me on Connect Four, then subscribe and bring it on. Now this place looks like a student hangout. Very spacious and a relaxed, friendly atmosphere. And as you can see, some really interesting interior. For me, this, this, this place was really good, really, really good. And I had just gone there after I had the worst, 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 worst coffee. So it, I guess it was a nice uh, change of pace for me. But that was the Tech Tora uh, coffee shop, 4.5. That's a big one. 
Now this is more like this place had some awesome interior. I have to say it's probably more like a bar, very modern, a very modern type of coffee bar area. But this time I went with the flat red. Now you're probably thinking what the hell that is. Very bizarre, very strange. It cost uh, 14 uh, zloty, but I wanted to kind of try something a bit different. So you do have the options here. So it's quite an eclectic type of uh, menu. The score that I'm gonna give this place is a whopping 4.2. And reason being is, you know, when you go to a coffee shop, you want good coffee. And apparently they served it. Okay, okay. The worst coffee that I've ever had in Krakow, in Krakow, in Krakow. Now this could be controversial because for some strange bizarre reason it's very popular when you check online. <music> the coffee was warm. I went for a, a I think I, yeah I did go for a flat white and without a shadow of a doubt it was the worst coffee I've had. It was extremely bitter. It had a weird taste and for the past you know, 20 minutes, I was trying to figure out why that was. Um, later on, I went to ask um, you know, the people behind, sorry, the people who are working there, and they didn't really want to talk to me kind of thing. So I went back and sat down and I asked someone else who asked for me, and they said that the coffee was a Rwanda blend. I didn't even know Rwanda made good coffee. I thought it was usually, you know, Ethiopian, Costa Rica, Colombian, Peruvian. The list goes on. Rwanda? Mate, that coffee was, was garbage. The place was packed. So is it me? The price was 10 zloty. Very reasonable, uh, pretty much the standard from what most of the places that I've seen. But let me know if you like this place and explain to me maybe I was wrong. I doubt it. I, I really doubt it. But other than that, I'm giving this place one. One. But folks, we can't leave it on a negative point. So here are a few other places uh, that I'm gonna put in the bonus part of this video and some other coffee shops that you should definitely try for show. All right, that's it from me. I have tried as many coffees as possible and I need an extreme detox. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe. It's free. As always, be good, be kind and be careful. Peace.